Hello everybody, it's Mick from Jester Bushcraft and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I've uh, made a cargo net storage area inside the boot space of my Citroen Bolingo camper van. Right, so what I've done is I've cut this piece of copper pipe which has been um, powder coated black so it's just, uh, it's just nice for inside the Bolingo um, but it's slightly too big so this piece of dowel is exactly 15 mm which is perfect to fit inside the, the little plastic uh, bracket inside the boot space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide that inside and I'm going to wrap tape around, it's quite a long, quite a longish piece. I'm going to wrap tape, gaffer tape around that end just so that it fits in snug and I'm going to push it inside so it's just sticking out the right amount. I'll have to uh, offer it up inside the, uh, inside the vehicle to make sure it's right and then I'll put some more tape around inside so it's just sticking out at the right amount and then that should just fit in perfect and I'll do exactly the same at the other end of this uh, copper pipe and then we'll uh, we'll try and see if it fits okay so that's what I'm going to do now Right, that's just about just about right. I'll be able to knock that in with a mallet, um, and it goes quite a way down, so it'll give good support. Um, so yeah, that should be perfect. Just need to do the same at the other end. Just adjusted the dowel so that it fits nicely in that gap there. And what I'll do is I'll just mark the dowel there with a the sharpie, draw the dowel back out, wrap some more uh, gaffer tape around this section of the dowel that's hidden inside the tube, and then uh, push it back in, and that should be secure. And then the dowel won't move around inside the um, copper tube but that pops in there just nice and then I can just uh, put the cover back on right so we've put the bit of gaffer tape on there now so that can just push back in just up to that mark just about there and that's oh, that's the other end rattling not this end and that's nicely in there now, ready to fit back into the bracket. So I'll do the same on the other side and then we can fit it back in place. Alright, okay. There's the uh, dowel now, all pushed in. And I've actually coloured the dowel in with, a bit, with the Sharpie just so it's all the same colour, doesn't really need to be because it's going to be hidden anyway but that's just me. Right, so that should now go into place and just click in, he says, like that, and on the other side that should just pop in do it with one hand, like that. So that is a now a nice firm bar all the way across. Now I just need to put the covers on. Right, 
and this is the uh, cargo net. It's a single layer cargo net, 70 centimeters by 70 centimeters. It's got the plastic hooks in the corner. So I'm going to see how that now fits with the the new bar we fitted, and see how that works in. Right, and what I've done here is I've attached it's one of these sort of sucker things, and I've cut the rounded bit. I've cut this down, the sucker down a little bit, and you can see there. I've now got that ring, which should be enough to hold the cargo net. If you just come over to this side, this is where I took the um, bracket off for the modular top. This is where the catch was held in. Uh, sorry, this is where the uh, strings came down that supported the modular top. I'm just going to push that up inside there, and uh, then we've got them little rings to attach the cargo net to. Right, okay. So what I've done is I've attached one corner of the cargo net onto the little ring there. I've then taken it underneath the bar, like that, and then taking it back over the top. And then I've just connected the other corner back on to itself. Same on that side. And you can see now that's created uh, because it's a 70x70 70 70 cargo net, it stretches and it's got quite a bit of... I mean this isn't intended for heavy items, this is just for stuffing jackets or a pillow or something like that. And you can see, like there's two, it's made like an envelope there, so you can put stuff underneath and separate them if you want to. quite a versatile little storage area. I mean I've made that into double thickness now to make it a bit more supportive. Um, I am hoping to be able to adapt this to have different configurations where I can maybe just have a, the narrow cargo net going further down and I'm going to Maybe put some attachments down at that end so I can have a cargo net down each side if I want to. They do do a, a 140 or a 120 centimetre by I think about 60 centimetres. So doubled up lengthways, you could have one down that, down that side, down that side, still attached to the bar here going that way, and still have this one coming this way. But I just wanted to get this one first to see how it worked. I'm quite happy with that. I think that's going to be very useful. I just need to keep my eye on these and see how strong they're going to be. I'll say last and stay up there. If they don't, I might have to fashion something else. But for now, that's uh, that's okay. Um, and I think you could put, you know, reasonable weight up there. Um, let's try it. Right. Pair of size 10 wellies. Yes, it's sagging. It is only on the single layer because I didn't want to get mud on the roof. But if I went on the double layer, it would hold it a bit better. Um, and obviously, you wouldn't have it like that when you're driving. But, you know, seems alright. Yeah, I'm more than happy with that. For those of you that don't know, um, to fit this bar, across the back of the boot space for this cargo net I've had to remove the overhead storage locker the Monja top storage locker um, just to give me more headroom uh, and this bracket here where I fitted the, the bar there is where the overhead storage locker fitted so I've removed that and I've just utilised the bracket to make the uh, the bar that goes across the top. That's for all those of you that weren't aware of that. Because not everybody has one of them overhead storage units. So yeah, but I still think the I still think the bracket is present, even though you may not have the overhead storage locker. Also, you can you, know, you can mess around with this, you can push those in like that, and it creates more of a deep 
pocket more central or you can spread it out like that I mean I can always put some little attachments here to maybe put a piece of paracord around there to secure that to, to keep it right over there but that is staying on its own just under tension so it's quite versatile and of course I can unclip that and move it around and play around with it so just wanted to show you that it's the new cargo net feature storage area and um, if you might be interested in that I'll put the link in the description below of where you can get it and a bit more information on it but uh, yeah we'll see how that goes so I hope you enjoyed that if you did like and subscribe leave a comment let me know if you've done a similar thing uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video Oh,